Uh, hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So we got Bull Run Boys here on Twitter posting this uphold. If you're using the uphold exchange, I know uh, if you're in the United States and you're an XRP holder, you likely have an uphold account. Will uphold just remove their 65 day holding period? Can you hear those chains breaking? That is amazing news. Voxman here saying that works for me and posting uh, the announcement here. Maybe it's because we just removed the 65 day cooldown period for new ACH deposits in your uphold account. Responding to, uh, I missed this. Is it hot in here? Uh, what does that mean? You can now send funds anywhere, including external crypto wallets within four working days of your ACH deposit rather than waiting 65 days. So bringing us into 2022 finally. As always, you can instantly trade digital assets with your ACH deposited funds. These benefits only work uh, with the latest version of the Uphold app. So I uh, don't know if you guys have an Uphold account. Like I said before, if you are uh, in the United States, you likely do if you are an XRP holder because uh, they were the only exchange or one of the only very, very few exchanges that were still enabling their clients to trade XRP after the lawsuit was announced. So got to give credit to Uphold here. Uh, also removing that 65 day cool off period. I also saw this guy's from XRP underscore crow, the flare token airdrop update. Uh, the date is still supposed to be January the 9th. Now there are 38 confirmed exchanges. So I will leave this uh, link in the description of the video Two still awaiting confirmation. Uh, we've got eight Japanese exchanges specifically, uh, three bankrupt exchanges, which uh, still has not changed. And uh, still two still scheduled to speak, which is Bittrex Global and Bittrex, uh, the original Bittrex down here. So guys, if you were custodying on any of these exchanges, you will be receiving your FLR. So thanks so much to XRP underscore Crow for posting that. We're getting more information about some Ripple partnerships, specifically with regards to uh, some patents that uh, some companies did hold. This one uh, with relation to RippleNet specifically. So Wrath of Kahneman posted this here. Identity's patent to use RippleNet for financial information is shown in an October investor presentation. This patent was from 2015 uh, and it's periodically rediscovered on Twitter. So the patent is nothing new, but notice it was approved approved last year in the United States and in Singapore. So the patent was approved in 2021 in the United States for identity to use RippleNet. Likely they were getting their ducks in a row for, you know, XRP clarity in the United States. Uh, so here you have it, uh, just uh, some more information with regards to this identity file patent applications to protect its invention of a blockchain based global ecosystem for financial information. Uh, and you can see down here and new networks such as RippleNet and MasterCard cross border payments. That is uh, part of the patent. It gives you a little bit of their IP strategy down here. The more important thing to note though, is that in 2021, they did register this patent to use RippleNet specifically in the United States. So USA granted and uh, 2022 in Singapore, where we know XRP is already regulated and being used. So that is interesting news. Wanted to thank the Wrath of Kahneman for that. T. Will Bedict also posting this, okay. Nala, which is an agent of Ripple Partner Modular, they've just expanded into the European market. So more Ripple partnerships expanding as an extension arm from other companies that are Ripple enabled. So Nala, a Tanzanian fintech company, has expanded its services into the European market. This expansion will allow the fintech to operate in 19 European countries and enable remittances from them to African countries. Despite the international remittance market being oversaturated with players, including traditional financial institutions and other fintechs, the process of sending money to African countries is cumbersome and challenging. That's an interesting thing to state here. The fact that it is oversaturated. Well, it didn't feel very oversaturated even five years ago, right? But you enter DLT technology, you enter all the new companies that are leveraging RippleNet through these secondary and tertiary partnerships. And now you get what they are deeming an oversaturation of cross-border remittance solutions uh, for you know the retail user, because at the end of the day, this is all for retail. According to World Bank data, the average cost of sending money to African countries from Europe, uh, countries like Italy, France, and Germany hovers between three and 7% and could take up to two days depending on the platform. The other good thing though about this oversaturation, just gonna go back to this for a second, is that if you have Ripple partners oversaturating the market, well, what does that mean? What does that ultimately mean? The network effect and that interoperability, right? One of the bonuses of using RippleNet, the network effect, more companies running on RippleNet means, in fact, I mean, ultimately better for the network. More importantly, though, it also means more demand for the XRP cryptocurrency once we get this up and running. So uh, an interesting development here from Nala, an agent of Ripple Partner Modular, uh, courtesy of T. Holbetic XRP on Twitter. So just wanted to thank him for posting that. Uh, another one here, guys, from the Wrath of Kahneman financial platform, Ibanera has partnered with Ripple Partner Cross River Bank to power their digital banking platform. So Ibanera, global banking and payments company, today announced the launch of their new partnership with Cross River. 
River, a technology infrastructure provider that offers embedded financial solutions to power Ibanera's digital banking platform and payment capabilities with its API-driven platform and proprietary banking core. Uh, and here's a quick quote. We are excited to partner with Cross River to provide businesses and payment companies with the tools and APIs in this fast evolving market. This coming from Michael Carbonara, CEO of iBanera. Uh, the combined capabilities of our companies create immediate market value as modern banking products enhance the speed and lower the cost of commerce, allowing business to scale as necessary. Notice how down here they say they want to expand payment rails and use cases. Uh, and iBanera provides businesses with the optionality and scalability necessary for our non-stop an ever evolving world. Uh, that's a euphemism, I think, for DLT technology finance moving uh, to a different method, of course, on the blockchain. More digital currencies are going to be part of this system. Uh, we're thrilled to support Ibanera's platform and their efforts to improve financial access and affordability for businesses worldwide. So that's the other thing with DLT technology. Uh, the streamlined approach, more accessibility, more access, more affordability for the end user. Overall, it's just a more efficient mousetrap. And, uh, you know, more of these companies are realizing that. So another great piece of news here uh, from Wrath of Condiment. And it doesn't stop there, guys. The Ripple partnerships, the secondary, the tertiary, they keep building and they keep delivering. This one, guys, coming from Michael Branch here on Twitter. Ripple partner Novati and a Sydney-based group have now partnered up. This is Data Mesh, okay? The Data Mesh group. The partnership with Data Mesh Group will help provide Novati's clients with an innovative brand of card-focused payment processing system. So Data Mesh Group, a Sydney-based firm that provides merchant payment systems and data processing solutions, has partnered with Ripple's ODL partner Novati. Uh, the partnership will introduce Novati's large client base with a robust payment system provided by Data Mesh Group. Originally here tweeted out from the Cryptic Poet, uh, this is where they lifted this from, the development was highlighted by an Australian local media outlet on Fintech Reports today, being a leading provider of payment processing Systems Data Mesh Group offers a wide variety or a wide array of perks relating to payment solutions that Novati could leverage for its clients. These include nascent Android focused terminals, quick access to the newest and latest payment solutions, top data insights, and access to transaction data in real time. Not only that, Data Mesh Group's merchants, they will also be able to use Novati technology. And since Novati is running on RippleNet, by extension, they will likely use RippleNet. So, Novati, this is what they do they help link merchants with virtual and face to face payment systems under one multifaceted e commerce platform. With Novati's offerings, merchants can provide their clients different payment methods, such as direct debit, credit cards, WeChat Pay, and Alipay. Uh, just to name a few examples there, Mike, uh, Mark Nagy, CEO of Data Mesh Group, noted that the firm is looking to assist merchants by taking care of all the financial processes that would otherwise have been a challenging aspect of their business for them. So trying to streamline that for businesses, obviously, if you are running on DLT technology, namely the XRP ledger, this is going to be very easy to implement. Uh, and, you know, especially for, you know, the multitude of customers, you can just kind of cut and paste the process. Here's another quote. Uh, this partnership will add to our multi-acquirer capabilities, giving merchants more options and peace of mind regarding their transactions. So, uh, you know, it, it's hard enough to run a business, let alone have to learn all the other things. I know when I started my uh, my freelancing business as a videographer and video content producer, I had to learn everything. I had to learn QuickBooks, you know, my uh, my accounting on top of, uh, you know, keeping up on my skills. So, you know, running a small business, no easy feat. And, you know, on the payment side, because payments, I mean, every business needs to get paid in order to survive. This is an important part of this. And I think this is why we're going to see, uh, you know, this these types of partnerships really flourish. The fact that these customers uh, are going to be running on RippleNet certainly will not hurt. Just the other day, we talked about uh, payroll and how that is going to change too. You know, payroll used to happen every two weeks. And, uh, you know, with DLT technology, you can theoretically get paid minutes after you clock out of a shift. So this is all going to change the way we work, going to change the way we live, going to change the way we think of money and sending money. But this is all a good thing, guys. More demand for XRP, obviously, also going to be a good thing for us. So I wanted to thank Michael for posting that. Keeping up with the Uphold news, I saw this from only one way here on Twitter. So uh, I don't know if you guys remember, a few weeks ago, I talked about a potential supply shock. And I thought it was only fitting since I uh, just mentioned at the top of the video that Uphold has just removed their 65-day holding period. Then I also mentioned this, okay? Again, from only one way here on Twitter, so it would appear that Uphold only has 8 million XRP left. I don't know if they're getting more or not, but I am not risking it. So 
looking at this, we are looking at their account here. Now, of course, this is just one wallet that is held by Uphold. Uh, they could have more. Uh, and Crypto Eddie even points that out. Exchanges have multiple wallets. One of the easy sources slash tools for this whale watching uh, matched up uh, to exchanges is this. So you can go to this uh, website here and check out all the wallets that uh, that these guys have or check out the balances of these wallets. Only one way though posted this. Okay, wallet one labeled uphold, no escrow. Uphold two, no escrow. Uphold three has three escrows all in flow, all with different amounts and three different owners. But I'm looking here and uh, it, it looks as though there isn't actually a lot of XRP in these subsequent wallets. So he did go to xrpscan.com and uh, took a look at this. He says, hmm, I don't know what I'm looking at anymore. Ha ha. This looks like how this account came to be. This is the account with the most escrows on the Uphold 3 account. So this supply shock theory uh, now resurfacing. Could we see a supply shock? Uh, based on some exchanges not having enough XRP. Well, if you guys uh, have followed my channel, uh, you know, every so often, at least two or three or maybe even four times a week, I talk about the XRP that has been moving. Michael Branch uh, just recently posting this again, okay? So, you know, it sounds like I'm repeating myself over and over, but these guys, these are all brand new transactions where we're seeing all these new tokens moving over the XRP ledger. And we're seeing it more and more specifically over the last several months. So Bitcoin and XRP record a sharp pump on Tuesday following the US CPI report. The latest CPI update gave rise to bullish sentiment in the crypto market as the United States inflation rate fell. So there's that. And then we did see a bit of a price surge for Bitcoin uh, and resistance for XRP. This mild momentum gain in the crypto market led to several whales moving huge amounts of the leading cryptocurrency as well as XRP ledger native token amongst other assets. So we are seeing large amounts of XRP being shifted. In this case, 139 million XRP has been shifted. So this is this is brand new within the last 24 hours and it was in four transactions. So Whale Alert did report on this. Uh, the first one, 42.5 million XRP, uh, equating to about $16.6 .6 million, roughly. Uh, the next one, 35 million XRP, that's about $13.8 million. Then 34.4 million XRP, and that's about uh, $13.4 million. So guys, we're still seeing this large quantities of XRP moving. Also gets me wondering about price. Because when you look at the on-chain analytics, okay, so let's take a look at this. XRP fundamental analysis, whales on accumulation spree. And so if you look up here, this article was just posted a couple of hours ago. As per the report, XRP whale addresses, okay, so these are specifically whale addresses holding, I believe it was more than uh, a million and up to 10 million. So anywhere between a million and 10 million XRP supply held has skyrocketed from 16.7% to 18.3 percent so and, and i mean just within the last few weeks it had already risen once before so now it's rising even more so this is just over the past five weeks this directly indicates that whales took pure benefit from the recent market sentiments that caused the collapse of ftx so just uh taking a quick look here at uh, the xrp chart what they're talking about here was this uh, opportunity and i've already got the price tool on here 78 percent gain from this low back in uh, early September all the way up to this top. And now what they're seeing again, this is the second largest pump for XRP when it did come back down here to 31 and a half cents, then did uh, pump right back up to 41.8. So we are in fact seeing it on the chart and note down here. However, at the time uh, when the XRP price backtracked, crypto whale addresses holding anywhere between 100,000 and 10 million. So, okay, so these are the whale addresses, but up to 10 million XRP tokens went on an accumulation spree. The report mentions that this jump came in a hurry. Data suggests that this XRP price run came again soon as the whales are still adding more XRP to their addresses. So you guys can see up here a huge influx right in there. And uh, if you take a look down here, I don't know if you guys can, can tell right down there, but that was happening right in and around the middle of November, right after the FTX situation occurred. Obviously, you can't take this in isolation either. We've also got to consider the Ripple SEC lawsuit too, right? That's coming to an end. So maybe it's a bit of a perfect storm event that we're seeing here that is going to, in fact, influence the price of XRP. So millionaire XRP whales quickly filling their bags. It's just another article uh, from XRP Crypto Wolf demonstrating on-chain analytics firm Santimit Opal that the catalyst for the price run for the seventh largest cryptocurrency XRP might be brewing as whales hurriedly add to their holdings. So uh, just more news here suggesting that whales are adding and uh, they are accumulating. This is the most recent tweet here from Santiment with regards to XRP. Whales continue to play a major role in how markets ebb and flow in flat market conditions like right now, keeping tabs on which assets are getting accumulated and dumped can lead to huge wins. 
So check some of these out, guys. Let me just bring up this tweet. See if we can click on that. And there we go. Just taking a cursory look at this. Bitcoin supply is up 1.42%. We got Ethereum up 1.99%. We got XRP up 1.72% and Dogecoin up 1.88%. Now, Dogecoin, uh, likely because of the Elon Musk news, Bitcoin is actually the cryptocurrency that has seen the least amount of gain. But XRP and Ethereum also up there. And I mean, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum number one and two. Dogecoin, I feel like we're seeing a pump based on Elon Musk hype. And XRP right now sitting at number six spot. So uh, at that time, I believe it was at number seven. Now it's at number six. We did not see any uh, kind of accumulation for Binance coin. Of course, CZ is going through his own issues at this moment in time. So again, just going back to this, you know, I think it is going to be a perfect storm and uh, also going to keep an eye on the uphold supply. We already had a situation where we could see some supply shock issues. And so will this extend to uphold in the United States? Maybe they removed the 65 day holding period to alleviate some of the stress, allowing crypto holders to move their cryptocurrency to and fro easily. I don't know. It's just a theory. That's just my opinion, though. But I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.